Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. So, yes, whatever this is, it's still hanging on, but we're moving on. So today, our devotion is about the living word. And it goes, My word is living and powerful. It is a discerner of thoughts and the intents of hearts. Because scripture is alive, active, and full of power, it can touch hearts deeply and transform lives thoroughly. I have changed your life through the wonders of biblical truth. My word is continually at work in you, transforming you in the depths of your inner, inner being. The more scripture you have in your mind and heart, the more readily I can mold you. Growing in grace is all about transformation, becoming more like me. I never change. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. So you are the ones who need to change, to be molded increasingly like into my likeness. This is in a glorious adventure and an awesome privilege, yet it's also painful at times. Change always involves some loss, and it can trigger anxiety. The, remem the remedy is to cling to my hand, walking with me, and trusting dependence along the path that I prepare for you. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light for your path. And this is so true, my friends. We must spend time in the word and learn the word so that we can become more and more like Jesus every day. Because that is what he intends for us to do. Excuse me. Uh. So today, our verses come from Hebrews 4.12. The Word of God is a living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. And then Hebrews 13.8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's a pretty good thing, isn't it? Because we are never the same. Romans eight twenty nine, Those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And then Psalms one nineteen one hundred five, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. And we, we need to remember that. He is the light in our path. All we have to do is let it be there. Thank you, my friends, for joining me today again with another daily devotion. And um, I will have a Dollar Tree haul come out in just a little bit. So thank you all so much. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.